We're going to find a blacksmith shop. We're going to find a blacksmith shop. We're going to find a blacksmith shop. Good morning, y'all. It's Haley. Welcome back to the vlog. Like they said, we're gonna find a blacksmith shop today. We hope they are for some reason on this trip. They have both Merritt especially have become obsessed with blacksmith shops. So we're gonna try to find one of those today. First, we're gonna go to the north unit of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Check that out. They're supposed to be Mount Oh, not Mountain Goats. Um, Bighorn Sheep, which we love. So we want to see those and um just explore that park a little bit this morning. And then just a second, baby. Then we're gonna go to. Fort Union Trading Post, which is a National Park Service. They're going to get their badges, look around, have bunches of fun. And then we're going to go back into the North Unit and look some more. And then we're going to get to Dickinson tonight. And then tomorrow we will head home. So come along with us for this fun day. We made it to the North That's Unit. Is that a badger? No. I think it's a coyote. It's a coyote. Okay. Got to get our stamps. Merritt has been wanting this book for a while. The Kids National Park Guide. It's got all of them in there. We're going to grab it today. <laughs> is, te is that supposed to be Teddy? No. It does have the Maltese Cross brand though. Y'all aren't going to believe this, but I have to tell you. We were just in this visitor center and the park ranger said they spotted a moose here yesterday. Like there's no moose in this park ever. And there was a moose here yesterday. So now we're on the hunt. Imagine that. <laughs> We spotted a golden eagle down there. I'm gonna try to get a picture. There he is. He's laying all that rock. Yeah, isn't he See pretty? I'm gonna go on this little trail, try to find some bighorn sheep. It says, do not approach the wildlife. We'll go down there. Oh, this is the view that launched the park. Yeah, so look, they built this just for the view. Woo, it's beautiful. But what does this say? Is that the little Missouri River down there, Daddy? Cool. Mom, what does this say? That's how they built it. You can see the river, Koi. Woo, ooh. Something drinking over there. You see something drinking, maybe? Trying to find some sheep. Some bighorn sheep. I think I see something. You think you do? <laughs> so, this is the one that was built in 1937. Who was born in 1985? <laughs> no, I was born in 1981. Now, all the YouTube world knows how old I am. <laughs> so cool. Ooh, it's a little wet. Don't get your shoes wet, please. Cool. We found the North Unit Buffalo Herd. There they are. Mom, could you roll my window down? We just spotted the bighorn sheep. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You see him, Goisy? I can't believe we saw him. Me too, I'm so excited. Mary, do you see him, maybe? Yeah. I see them in the real And I can't wait to get to the fort. Yeah, he wants to go to the fort. We're going to the fort, buddy. Because All right, the park ranger said to come down to this little Missouri trail, go by the river, and see if we can spot this moose, y'all. My hopes aren't high, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs>
It's a lucky day. We didn't spot the moose, but we did spot the longhorn herd coming down to get water. Isn't that cool? I like black. You would think we were in West Texas, not North Dakota. I shoot that guy. Shot him. Whoop here. They're just moving along the river. I'm so glad we did this little trail. So cool to see them. So we stopped into the national, uh, there's not a sign, but the national grassland um, little office here to try to get a passport stamp, but they didn't have a stamp, but they gave us huge bags of all sorts of Smokey the Bear goodies and like a Frisbee and an activity book and whistles and all sorts of fun stuff. So I bet you they don't get any stuff. That's what she said. She said, we don't have many kids, so when they come, we hook them up. So here you go, boys. Uh, all right, we're on our way to the um, Fort Union Trading Post now. We made it. There's the fort over there. Somewhere. This sign over here says, Welcome to North Dakota. So we're thinking like, we might be stepping on Montana just right over there. <laughs> we found us a perfect little picnic spot. And then we're gonna go up the hill to the fort. There's a little sign right there on the side of this path up to this fort that says, Entering North Dakota. And you turn around, it says, Entering Montana. So we just picnicked in Montana. That's cool, y'all. <laughs> Merritt's lucky day, he found the blacksmith shop. <laughs> I know. It smells like they're doing some, doing something. I smell, the, I smell fire. Cool. Up here, see the lookout. Did they have rails in the olden days? No, there wouldn't have been any rails. This is how they would have defended themselves if somebody bad came. So they would have ended them. Right. Whoa, and look, look. Do you what see this? Whoa, what was I standing on? A hatch door? Look at this. This would have kept it. The buffalo. Would that have kept it warm, Daddy? Like insulated? What is that one for? What is that? If you where they would have closed them up. They pushed that in that hole. Oh, some rifles. When it was cold. Cool. What could you see out here? Could you see anybody coming? Oh yeah, you could. How far can you see? Could have seen people coming from far away, huh? Any bad guys? Why did they lock these up? We went to the clerk's office. Is that the clerk, app app honey. Clerk? Clerk, like a um somebody who um how do we explain what a clerk is, Daddy? Somebody who just like a cashier. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for that adaption there. Ooh, cool. No, this is where they had meetings. Probably. This is where they would have come in then, or over here. I guess either way. Oh, uh, look at! Did y'all see the hides? They're just interesting in shooting off the cannons. <laughs> yeah, just a sec. Go through the little museum and the house. 
up here. What was that? Oh boy. That's a, that's a uh, buffalo robe. Like this right here. It kept you warm right here. Remember how y'all put those on that first day, Remember? second day? Hey, is this a modern we've been gone? <laughs> Look, is this a modern do modern lions have tails like this? No. Look, that's a yak. Uh -huh. A yak? This? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. What is that thing? A deer. Oh, sure. It's that's a deer. A mule deer. That's a mule deer. They traded all kinds of stuff, didn't they, Look. Minnie? Look. Look what the Indian had. Well, that was probably what the fur traders, mm. the trappers had. Where, buddy? Oh, axes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so, if you have, now this is what they call a winter fur. You guys have a dog? In the winter, does this fur get thicker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then what happens in the springtime? So this is where the clerk would sit. And he would use his pens and he would keep track of who brought things, what they traded for, and things like that. But if you were pressing your buffalo ropes through, you're gonna put them through this window. And then the trader's gonna take them and press But they're the same shape. Or behind you is a trade gun up on the top up there. Yeah. So you might trade, that's a trade gun. And then what do you need if you get a trade gun? What else are you going to need? Bullets. Huh? Bullets. Bullets. Yep. Depends on the size gun you got. You might get need little bullets. <laughs> is this soft? Yeah. Now this is called a beaver plume because this was just stretched and then it was scraped but it wasn't tanned. So this is still part of his, his skin. It's got stuff on the inside. And there's a reason for that, and I'll show you in a minute. And then I'll show you what it's like when it's tanned. Now, here's river otter. So they would put these into different chemicals to take these hairs out. And then what they wanted is that nice, thick stuff underneath. Like right there. And that's what they would use for the hats but they use chemicals like mercury and others, and they were bad for them. Badge. Here is your badge. And because we are a fur trading post, you get to do something special here for him. You get to do some trading. So you each have your own <laughs> buffalo robe. And if you look at the very bottom, way down at the bottom, of the inside of this glass, you'll see some different things in there that you can trade for. Do you see? You can trade for the Junior Ranger patch, the American Fur Company flag pin, the AFC flag, a bear claw necklace kit, or either a silver or gold Junior Ranger pin. What do you think you're going to trade for? What do you think? Um, a necklace, C P I N or flag. Trade. Got trade. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you can hang it up in your room. What would you like, buddy? Hi. What you like? I'll help you put them inside this bag so that you don't lose them. Okay, go ahead and put them inside the bag here. You put them in the bag, buddy. There you go. You not gonna get any blues? There you go. Oh, cool. Did he? Did you tell him? Uh, did he tell you what that was for? Right. The 
Fur Trading Company, American Fur Trading Company. Yeah, they were the ones that owned and operated Fort Union. And when you go outside, if you look up on the top of the building we're in, yeah. there's a flying pull up there. And you're going to see a big version of that flag that's flying from the top. Cool. You got to shake his hand, Coy, for the good trade. <laughs> it's a good trade, sir. <laughs> All right. All right, they got to make good trades and we got the badges. Oh, thank you, Koi. Yeah. You picked out a craft, a, a buff, what was it? An Indian bracelet craft and Merritt when got I the... Home, when we get home, I'm gonna put a stick on it. Yeah, you got the American Fur Company and a flag. And when we get home, can we make yes. a thing so I can put that on? Yes, yeah, so fun. All right, here's the spot where you're in oh, North Dakota on one side, and in Montana on the oh, other. Rest. Okay, who's gonna be in North Dakota? You gonna stand on both sides? We want the Montana side show. Okay. I'm on the Montana. Okay, so we didn't go back through the park because we'd seen everything that we wanted to see animal-wise, so we did the Fort Union. Y'all, that was so fun. I don't know if I got it all on film or what, but when they finished their Junior Ranger books, they gave them these little buffalo robes, and they got to trade in the buffalo robes for, like, a prize, and McCoy got, um, like, a necklace that he can make, and Merrick got a flag. Anyway, that was so fun because that was, like, the I whole... I got a necklace because when we get home, we're going to make it Indian project and like we did it last time yeah we're gonna make an indian project with it anyway a craft you know my baby loves some crafts anyway that was so cool because that was like I the whole crafts. reason the whole thing was like a trading post back forever ago for like 40 years it ran anyway it was really really cool so they got to do that anyway we're at walmart now because i forgot to get them t-shirts in the park and so i'm hoping that they have something here that says north dakota or something because we like to get a t-shirt when we go places so we're gonna see if we can find one okay we didn't have t-shirts but y'all if you got little boys that play baseball you better go to the walmart asap because i got everything like 50 to 75 75 percent off so i'm just gonna buy it all in north dakota and take it home with me <laughs> All right, we made it to Mexican tonight. I got my Quest chips in my purse. I gotta get them out. <laughs> what are you gonna have, Mira? Taco? No? What are you gonna have, Koi? I'm gonna have nachos with chicken. Oh my. Nachos with chicken. Sorry, y'all. We devoured before we showed you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Koi. Now my screen is all gross. <laughs> Anyway, sorry I forgot to show you the food, but you know what our Mexican food looks like by this Bye point. All. Anyway, we're gonna cut the vlog off here because we're gonna go check in the hotel. It's just right here down yes. the road. They're gonna swim. Bye y'all. The same one we stayed Bye in a couple of nights ago. They're gonna swim again. Bye y'all. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm exhausted. Bye y'all. So, he wants to say bye y'all. Subscribe to our channel bye. so you don't miss a thing. Thanks so much for following us along. Bye bye. See you in the next one. Bye y'all. Bye bye. Bye. bye.